Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to my stop on the Not Too Shabby Christmas in July hop. Today I'm going to be using the new stamp and die of the month to create a very cute winter card. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create and find out how you can enter to win a gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, Not Too Shabby comes out with a new stamp and die of the month, and this month's stamp set is called Berry Christmas. It has four adorable little bear images with some coordinating sentiments. And one of my favorite things, and I know it's such a small detail, is they give you stamps so you can make rosy cheeks on those bears. Now, not only can you buy the stamp set by itself, you could also get a bundle which comes with coordinating dies for the bears and all of the other stamps. I have a feeling that this one is going to go quickly, so I do have some links in the description box below so you can go over there and get yourself one. Now if you want to make sure that you get a set every month, and let me tell you these just keep getting better and better, go ahead and sign up for monthly while you're over there. Now my video today is just one of many. This is a video hop and like I mentioned earlier, there is a giveaway. So later on when I'm doing the process of my card, I will tell you more details about how to get entered, but you can enter to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. How exciting is that? And I know that you're gonna love to visit those other videos to see what everyone else is creating. As I start today's process, I will let you know about other products and tools that I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. For today's card, I'm gonna be using the bear with the cute little scarf. And because I'll be coloring with some alcohol markers, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and Nina Solar White cardstock. Now these are new stamps. I haven't had a chance to use this image yet, so I did rub off those manufacturing oils before I inked up and stamped my image. Now because it is new and my pad is a little bit dry, I inked it up and stamped it twice to get a nice solid black. To color my image, I'm going to be using a combination of Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers with some Arteza alcohol markers. I will list the individual colors in the description box below. Now I'm a pretty basic colorist when it comes to this, so while I will show you the full coloring process, I'll just let the video speak for itself instead of giving a lot of tips because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But what I will tell you while you are watching me color is how you can get entered into the giveaway. This is a hashtag driven hop. So what you'll do is click on the hashtag in the title or you can type the hashtag that I have up on screen now into your YouTube search engine. It will bring up all of the videos in the hop. You'll want to visit each one, give them a watch, give them a thumbs up and leave a comment. Once you have visited all of the stops on the hop, you will click on the raffle copter link either in my description box or any of the other hop videos to get entered to win. Subscribing to any of the channels along the way that you're not already subscribed to is optional, but it would definitely be appreciated. You have until 11.59 p.m. on July 13th to enter to win, and the winner of the $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store will be announced here on their YouTube channel on July 14th. I do have all of these rules in that description box below, so you can check that out as well. 
Happy hopping! Once my bear was all colored up, it was time to add those rosy cheeks. So I brought in a pink ink from my stash and I will just be using a small stamp block to get those cheeks put in their place. Using the coordinating die and some scotch removable tape to hold it in place, I took this off screen and cut it out. I just love how it leaves that white border around the image. I will be using some stencils to create a snowy background for my little bear. The main one will be the Snow Flurry stencil from Not Too Shabby, and then I'm also using a homemade oval mask. For my ink, I'm using Gina K Designs Ocean Mist with my blue blending brush. I place my oval mask in place, and then I go around the outside of this oval, I think twice, with that blue ink. The heaviest concentration of blue is around the outside of the oval and it fades to a light blue on the center. Once I had the oval all done, leaving the mask on, I brought in the snow flurry stencil and just placed that over the top of it. Then using that same blue ink, I came back in and went over the snowflakes until I thought that they were a good shade of blue. I do want to make sure that it stands out from the blue oval that is already there. Now here is my favorite part, the reveal. Let me know below if that's your favorite part of stenciling too. Off camera, I die cut the stencil piece with a stitched frame and now it's time to get the sentiment added. I will be stamping right onto the stenciled area and to make sure my sentiment is in a good place, I did go ahead and place my bear before I placed the first part of the sentiment. Now to get the words as close together as possible, I did stamp these at two different times. I used the Have a Cool and Christmas stamp. For both of the sentiment pieces, once I had them onto the misty plate, I did make sure that they were straight across using that grid. Now when I stamp sentiments like this with the VersaFine, instead of using my presser tool when I stamp, I do just gently use my fingers. Sometimes I find with these fine sentiments, if I push too hard, it gets kind of smushy in places, if that makes sense. Off camera, I prepared a red card base, and on the inside of this, I put a piece of white cardstock to write the sentiment, and I added some decoration with the small snowflake from the stamp set. Now it's time to get the card put together, so my stenciled piece goes flat down onto the front, and then I use some foam tape on the back of my bear to pop it up off the card. To finish it off, I brought in some colored gems that I think I got in an old not too shabby kit and I added five around the teddy bear. And here's a close up look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to click on that hashtag in the title and hop along to all of the videos to get entered to win. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.